It is the 28th of the 8th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Hurricane Isaac uh, is making landfall as I make this video at 4.03 p.m. Central Time. Uh, it is due on track to um, go right up through New Orleans, so uh, definitely be uh, keep an eye on radar. The eye is heading directly for the sinkhole. Sot.net, family food bills to soar as British shoppers face paying more for bread, pasta, and meat. Here we go, we've been warning you about the food shortages that are up and coming. Chinese fishermen killed as typhoon hits South Korea. At least five Chinese fishermen have been killed and ten others are missing after their boats capsized as Typhoon Bolivin hit South Korea, officials say. Tornado in Guatemala causes some damage, and they've got some videos out on that. Tornado hits southern Maryland, more possible along with flooding. We've got a series of storms heading up the east coast. Uh, it's been a tur turbulent day that started with a band of heavy rain lined up on the west side of the Chesapeake Bay during Annapolis before dawn. There was a short break but the storms began spinning up rapidly around lunchtime. Literally, please note that the storm does not have to have a warning to be deadly. California earthquake swarm. What's going on? Question mark. And the swarm is continuing. A swarm of earthquakes that touched off Sunday morning in the Southern California is still rolling along Monday afternoon, uh, registering more than 300 small to moderate quakes that could be felt from Arizona to San Diego. The swarm is unusual, but not as rare as you might think. And uh, they go into explaining that, and there's all kinds of videos out on that right now. Cyclone slams into Italy, brings tornadoes. Cyclone's just another word for a typhoon or hurricane. Uh, Cyclone Beatrice struck the nor uh, northern Italy on Sunday, causing light flooding, storms, and multi -tor uh, mini tornado, but also providing much needed cooling after a week long heat wave. And uh, farmers and vineyards hampered by the drought look forward to uh, Beatrice, which succeeded Lucifer, an anti-cyclone with winds that spiral out from a high-pressure center, which had brought hot air in from the Sahara Desert. Another strong earthquake shakes eastern Indonesia. They're saying this one's a little deep, 6.4 magnitude. Heavy rains double the size of sinkhole in downtown Baltimore. Parts of Maryland are still getting drenched. Thunderstorms dumped up to 5 to 6 inches of rain, making it one of the wettest days of 2012. They've got a huge uh, sinkhole in downtown expanding. Record ice melt opens new sea routes in the Arctic. Uh, scientists say the Arctic sea ice is likely to shrink to its smallest recorded size sometime next week. The ongoing thaw has opened up new sea lanes to shipping, with a Chinese icebreaker recently becoming the first ship to cross the Arctic Ocean from China to Iceland. And uh, they're already fighting over the mineral rights under this thing, and, uh, you know, <laughs> post-glacial rebound. Scott with bug. Look into it. Thousands of uh, Serb villagers evacuated as wildfires rage unabated. Uh, Serbia evacuated thousands of villagers on Saturday and called in the army to help fight wildfires raging through the drought-hit western Balkans. Over to the extinction protocol, powerful 7.4 magnitude earthquake strikes off the coast of El Salvador. Uh, they didn't issue any tsunami alerts or whatnot to that uh, very volcanically active area. And their uh, California earthquake swarm story. Massive Typhoon Bolivin slams Okinawa, Japan, and heads up for the Koreas. And of course, the Isaac warnings. Over to the RSOE quick. Uh, of course, the earthquake swarm in California. Flash flooding still remains in Pakistan. Uh, got flash flood reports out of Charleston, South Carolina. They've gotten a few inches of rain in a little time, expecting two to four more. Uh, flooded out cars, people needed rescued, that kind of thing. Event into space. Uh, Wales, United Kingdom, 
Now they're saying about a golf ball sized meteorite fell and exploded over the skies of England. Not too very long ago, bright light in the sky with a green trail, that kind of thing. Uh, of course the forest fires in Montana and Idaho. Uh, the channel Warning 616, she's putting out some outstanding videos uh, on the wildfires going on in Idaho right now and they are heading, uh, skipping over across the border into Montana. And uh, tornadoes out of Vero Beach, Florida. And I'm sure that has to do with Isaac. And uh, a few more stories on and on, that kind of thing. Let's go over to the nuclear stuff, uh, ENA News. Head of Fukushima thyroid exams. I'm trying to help, quote, so that Japan as a country will not fall apart. Lawsuits over health effects would victimize all of all Japanese. So they're saying, please don't sue TEPCO or the Japanese government, who is the top owner of TEPCO at the moment. Uh, all these lawsuits will cripple the Japanese government. And uh, even the, the Soviet Union, when it crumbled, uh, they didn't blame it on capitalism. They blamed it on Chernobyl. The cost, the, the amount cost of Chernobyl is what brought about the downfall of the Soviet Union. Isaac upgraded to hurricane strength. Eye of the storm is headed for sinkhole. Assumption Paris now under mandatory evacuation order. Um, so there's a lot going on there. I'd definitely be getting out of the area, even if it's only a Category 1 hurricane in hurricane country. Uh, TEPCO, dozens of pieces of rubble found in fuel rod assembly removed from Fukushima number 4 units and with all the explosions and whatnot going on around uh, the spent fuel pool it's no wonder they're finding debris at the bottom did any of these racks break up and fall to the bottom of the pool as has been reported japan newspaper hospitals refuse to treat fukushima plant workers I guess they don't want them on the books Radiation expert, there are immediate radiation dose concerns from the sinkhole in Louisiana. The government's in denial. They don't know what to do about the radioactive contamination. And now they've got a hurricane and a severe low pressure pushing down on top of the already unstable ground. Chemical expert, residents will be exposed to extremely dangerous alpha radiation coming from the sinkhole in Louisiana. Radioactive dust inhaled after carried by wind, surface water. They're saying um, this thing gets aerated with the water and uh, when it evaporates on the roads and the, the trucks roll over the roads and that creates the dust and kicks it up and people breathe it in, that's all going to be radioactive. And uh, the government's not really sure what they can do about that. Forbes, untold number of endangered whales intervene in California nuclear plant testing. Um, I forget the name of it, one of the nuclear plants in California, uh, they're doing some seismic testings because they've discovered they've built this thing on two fault lines or very close to two fault lines and uh, they want to do the air gun, you know, where they, sh they shoot and get the seismic readings just to see how deep these faults go kind of thing and a large number of endangered whales have come up in the area and these tests will hurt and scare the whales and it's been known to kill them so uh, they put off testing due to the whales coming in so is it the whales protesting the nuclear industry as well they need to shut them all down every single one of them uh, WSJ market watch cancer was bound to happen to animals grazing five miles downwind of Connecticut nuclear power plant none of these plants are safe Governor says more boom being deployed in sinkhole, winds up to 100 miles an hour is expected in the area. All monitors within the community are being removed, hence the, the mandatory evacuation. Texas Brine is in hurricane mode. <laughs> well, let's figure out what that is exactly. Uh, Gunderson on gamma rays uh, implies rubble was activated by neutrons or that activation products like cobalt-60 are in the rubble interesting and uh, finally today I'm going to take you over to Daily News Fukushima Diary um, S-A-I-T-A-M-A -A Prefecture is going to start recycling disaster debris to cement 
More houses will be built from radioactive concrete. Three local governments in uh, Satema are going to accept disaster debris to recycle into cement. In one of the cities, the city mayor died of a mitochondrial infraction or a heart attack two days after attending a test of the a test of incinerating of this debris. Uh, four prefectures ended up building final disposal sites of highly radioactive waste within their lands. Radiation still keeps leaking from the Fukushima plants. We've been telling you this over and over. The small country of Japan is becoming full of radioactive waste. They're starting to have to find final disposal spot sites somewhere. <sighs> and thyroid tests to be conducted out of Fukushima. Government can no longer ignore it. Uh, the Japanese government is finally starting to realize that the actual Fukushima effect four months have already passed since they found out about one in three children have a thyroid problem in Fukushima. And they are still attempting to cover this up. It's a lot worse than we are even getting these little hints of. And it goes on and on and on, of course. Um, if I've missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or videos below. Uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.